Welcome to study the Bible with me. Today we are continuing from where we stopped last time. So grab your Bible and let's dig right in. 2 Chronicles chapter 8 And it came to pass at the end of twenty years, wherein Solomon had built the house of the Lord and his own house, that the cities which Huran had restored to Solomon, Solomon built them, and caused the children of Israel to dwell there. And Solomon went to Hamath Zobah and prevailed against it. And he built Tadmor in the wilderness, and all the store cities which he built in Hamath. And he also built Beth, Bethoron, the upper, and Bethoron, the nether, fenced cities with walls, gates, and bars. And Balath, and all the store cities that Solomon had, and all the chariot cities, and the cities of the horsemen, and all that Solomon desired to build in, in Jerusalem, and in Lebanon, and throughout all the land of his dominion. As for all the people that were left of the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Hevites, and the Jebusites, which were not of Israel, but of their children, which were left after them in the land, whom the children of Israel consumed not, them did Solomon make to pay tribute until this day. But of the children of Israel did Solomon make no servants for his work, but they were men of war, and chief of his captains, and captains of his chariots, and horsemen. And these were the chief of King Solomon's officers, even two hundred and fifty, that bear rule over the people. And Solomon brought up the daughter of Pharaoh out of the city of David unto the house that he had built for her. For he said, My wife shall not dwell in the house of David king of Israel, because the place the places are holy, whereunto the ark of the Lord hath come. Then Solomon offered burnt offerings unto the Lord on the altar of the Lord, which he had built before the porch. Even after a certain rite every day, offering according to the commandments of Moses, on the Sabbath and on the new moons, and on the solemn feasts, three times in the year, even in the feast of the unleavened bread, and in the feast of weeks, and in the feasts of tabernacles. And he appointed according to the order of David his father, the courses of the priests to their service, and the Levites to their charges, to praise and minister before the priests, as the duty of every day required. The, the porters also by their courses at every gate, for so had David the man of God commanded. And they departed not from the commandment of the king, and to the priests and the Levites, Con and con concerning any matter or concerning the treasures. Now all the work of Solomon was prepared unto the day of the foundation of the house of the Lord, and until it was finished, so the house of the Lord was perfected. Then went Solomon to Ezion Giba and to Eloth at the seaside in the land of Edom. And Huram sent him by the hands of his servants' ships, and servants that had knowledge of the sea. And they went with the servants of Solomon to Opar, and took thence four hundred and fifty talents of gold, and brought them to King Solomon. Chapter 9 and when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon, he came to prove Solomon with hard questions at Jerusalem, with a very great company, and camels, and bare spices, and gold in abundance, and precious stones. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him of all that was in her heart. And Solomon told her all her questions, and there was nothing hid from Solomon which he told her not. And when the queen of Sheba had seen the wisdom of Solomon, and the house that he had built, and the men, and the meat of his table, and the sitting of his servants, and the attendancy of his ministers, and their apparel, his cupbearers also, and their apparel, and his ascent by which he went up into the house of the Lord, there was no more spirit in her. And she said to the king, It was a true report which I heard in mine own land of thine acts and of thy wisdom. Howbeit I believed not their words until I came, and mine eyes had seen it, and behold, the one half of the great Greatness of thy kingdom was not told me, for thou exceedest the fame that I had. Happy are thy men, and happy are these thy servants, which stand continually before thee, and hear thy wisdom. Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighted in thee to set thee on his throne, to be king for the Lord thy God, because thy God loved Israel, to establish them forever. Therefore made he thee king, king over them, to do judgment and justice. 
and she gave the king an hundred and twenty talents of gold, and of spices great abundancy, and precious stones. Neither was there any such spice as the queen of Sheba gave King Solomon, and the servants also of Huran, and the servants of Solomon, which brought gold from Opia, brought algum trees and precious stones. And the king made of algum trees terraces of the house of the Lord, and to the king's palace, and humps and psalteries for singers, and there were none such seen before in the land of Judah. And king Solomon gave to the queen of Sheba all her desire, whatsoever she asked, beside that which she had brought unto the king. So she turned and went away to her own land, she and her servants. Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was six hundred and three score and six talents of gold, beside that which chapmen and merchants brought, and all the kings of Arabia and governors of the country brought gold and silver to Solomon. And King Solomon made two hundred and two hundred targets of beaten gold, six hundred shekels of beaten gold went to one target, and three hundred shekels made he of beaten gold. 300 shekels of gold went to one shield, and the king put them in the house of the forest of Lebanon. Moreover, the king made a great throne of ivory, and overlaid it with pure gold. And there were six steps at the throne, which a footstool of gold, with a footstool of gold, which were fastened to the throne, and stays on each side of the sitting place, and two lions standing by the stays. And twelve lions stood there on the one side, and the other upon the, the six steps. There was not the like made in any kingdom. And all the drinking vessels of King Solomon were of gold, and all the vessels of the house of the forest of Lebanon were of pure gold. None were of silver. It was not anything accounted of in the days of Solomon. For the king's ships were of Tarshish, with the servants of Huran. Every three years once came the ship of Tarshish, bringing gold and silver, ivory and apes and peacocks. And King Solomon passed all the kings of the earth in riches and wisdom. And all the kings of the earth sought the presence of Solomon to hear his wisdom that God had put in his heart. And they brought every man his present, vessels of silver and vessels of gold, and raiment, harness and spices, horses and mules, a red year and Solomon had four thousand stalls for horses and chariots, and twelve thousand horsemen whom he bestowed in chariot cities, and with the king at Jerusalem. And he reigned over all the kings, from the river even unto the land of the Philistines, and to the border of Egypt. And the king made silver in Jerusalem as stones, and cedar trees as made he as the sycamore trees that are in the low plains in abundancy. And they brought unto Solomon horses out of Egypt and out of all lands. Now the rest of the acts of Solomon, first and last, are they not written in the book of Nathan the prophet, and in the prophecy of Ahijer the Shilonite, and in the visions of Edo the seer against Jeroboam the son of Nabat? And Solomon reigned in Jerusalem over all Israel forty years. And Solomon slept with his fathers, and he was buried in the city of David his father. And Rehoboam his son reigned in his stead. Chapter 10 And Rehoboam went to Shechem, for to Shechem were all Israel come to make him king. And it came to pass, when Jeroboam the son of Nabat, who was in Egypt, whither he had fled from the presence of Solomon the king, had it that Jeroboam returned out of Egypt, and they sent and called him. So Jeroboam and all Israel came and spake to Rehoboam, saying, Thy father made our yoke grievous. Now therefore is thou somewhat the grievous servitude of thy father, and his heavy yoke that he put upon us, and we will serve thee. And he said unto them, Come again unto me after three days. And the people departed. And King Rehoboam took counsel with the old men that had stood before Solomon his father while he yet lived, saying, What counsel give ye me to return answer to these people? And they spake unto him, saying, If thou be kind to these people, and please them, and speak good words to them, they will be thy servants forever. But he forsook the counsel which the old men gave him, and took counsel with the young men that were brought up with him, that stood before him. 
And he said unto them, What advice give ye that we may return answer to these people which have spoken to me, saying, Is somewhat the yoke that thy father did put upon us? And the young men that were brought up with him spake unto him, saying, Thus shalt thou answer the people that spake unto thee, saying, Thy father made our yoke heavy, but make thou it somewhat lighter for us. Thus shalt thou say unto them, My little finger shall be thicker than my father's loins. For whereas my father put a heavy yoke upon you, I will put more on your yoke. My father chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scorpions. So Jeroboam and all the people came to Rehoboam on the third day, as the king bade, saying, Come again to me on the third day. And the king answered them roughly, and, the, and King Jeroboam forsook the counsel of the old men, and answered them after the advice of the young men, saying, My father made your yoke heavy, but I will add thereof too. My father chastised you with whips, but I will chastise you with scorpions. So the king hearkened not unto the people, for the cause was of God, that the Lord may perform his word, which he spake by the hand of Ahijah the Shelonite to Jeroboam the son of Nabat. And when all Israel saw that the king would not hearken unto them, the people answered the king, saying, What portion have we in David? And we have none inheritance in the son of Jesse. Every man to your tents, O Israel. And now David, see to thine own house. So all Israel went to their tents. But as for the children of Israel that dwelt in the cities of Judah, Rehoboam reigned over them. Then King Rehoboam and Hadoram, that was over the tribute, and the children of Israel stoned him with stones that he died. But King Rehoboam made speed to get him up to his chariot to flee to Jerusalem. And Israel rebelled against the house of David unto this day. Chapter 11 and when Rehoboam was come to Jerusalem, he gathered of the house of Judah and Benjamin an hundred and fourscore thousand chosen men, which were warriors, to fight against Israel, that he might bring the kingdom again to Rehoboam. But the word of the Lord came to Shemaiah the man of God, saying, Speak unto Rehoboam the son of Solomon, king of Judah, and to all Israel in Judah and Benjamin, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Ye shall not go up nor fight against your brethren. Return every man to his house, for this thing is done of me. And they obeyed the words of the Lord, and returned from going against Jeroboam. And Rehoboam dwelt in Jerusalem, and built cities for defense in Judah, and built even Bethlehem, and Etam, and Tekor, and Bethsa, and Shoko, and Adullam, and Gath, and Meresha, and Zip, and Adoram, and Lachish, and Azekah, and Zorah, and Ijelon and Hebron, which are in Judah and in Benjamin, first cities. And he fortified the strongholds and put captains in them, and store of victuals and of oil and wine. And in every several city he put shields and spears and made them exceeding strong, having Judah and Benjamin on his side. And the priests and the Levites that were in all Israel restored to him out of all their costs. For the Levites left their suburbs and their position and came to Judah and Jerusalem. For Jeroboam and his sons had cast them off from executing the priest's office unto the Lord. And he ordained him priests for the high places and for the devils and for the calves which he had made. And after them out of all the tri tribes of Israel, such as set their hearts to seek the Lord God of Israel, came to Jerusalem to sacrifice unto the Lord God of their, God, their fathers. So they, they strengthened the kingdom of Judah and made Rehoboam the son of Solomon strong. Three years, for three years they walked in the way of David and Solomon. And Rehoboam took him Me Mehala Mahalath, the daughter of Jerimoth, the son of David, to wife. And Abihail, the daughter of Eliab, the son of Jesse, which bare him children, Josh and Shamariah and Zaham. And after her, he took Machar, the daughter of Absalom, and bare him Abijah and Etai and Ziza and Shelomith. And Rehoboam loved Machar, the daughter of Absalom, above all his wives and his concubines, for he took eighteen wives and three score concubines and begat twelve and eight sons and three score daughters 
and Rehoboam made Abijah the son of Machar the chief to be ruler among his brethren, for he thought to make him king. And he dealt wisely and dispersed of all his children throughout all the countries of Judah and Benjamin and to every vast city. And he gave them victuals in abundance, and he desired many wives. We shall be ending here today. Next time we shall be starting from Second Chronicles chapter 12. I'll see you then.